Hi, I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. Today is all about the May Geek Gear box. Now we have had some clues, however I'm showing you these as you will see now, but I don't remember any of them because I have got a terrible memory. Now unfortunately for some reason this May box has not etched its way into my mind. The postman came yesterday with this Geek Gear box, okay. I was in bed asleep, yes, I did have a really long lay-in yesterday. It was a crazy day yesterday with the badge sale and everything, so come on now, you can't have a go at me for that. Um, and he opened it and came upstairs and said, Mum, you're gonna really like this month's Geek Gear box. And I was like, oh please, don't say things to me like that because it's like, I, I really want it to be really good, maybe something to do with dark theme or something. <laughs> so, I have stayed away from the spoilers. So if you want to see what is in this May Geek Gear box, and if I'm going to like it, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> so as you know, yes, or not yesterday, well, it, it is yesterday, today is Sunday, but you're seeing it Monday. Uh, Saturday was the sale of my incredible pin badges, and I, all I want to do is say thank you so much to everybody who bought one. They sold out in record time, I think in about 40 minutes. So thank you so, so, so much for everyone who bought a pin badge. They will be on their way to you this week. It's really exciting. I'm looking at the box of them now, and all I can see just white packets. Uh, so it's really exciting. I can't wait. Let me know if you did buy a pin badge, and you when you do get it, please take a picture and send me it. Tag me in on Instagram or Harry uh, on Facebook, or send it to Harry Potter or whatever, Twitter, because I really want to see what you think of it, and maybe see you wearing it, see a little photo shoot with it or something, but I'd love to see it. It's my first piece of merch official merchandise that's gone out. So yeah, it's an exciting time for me to be me at the moment, but there we go. <laughs> I'm half asleep, right, because I have been so, feeling so poorly today that I've been in bed, but I'm feeling great now, but I'm very tired. So, and because of what Daniel said, I didn't want to wait any longer to see what was inside this box. So, we're going to have a look. Okay, you ready? Oh, wow! <gasps> oh my god, it's the Luna stuff! No way! Oh my god, look at this. Okay, go on then. <laughs> oh my god, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> the forest is covered. Right, so this is a Luna t-shirt. I knew you guys would appreciate me doing that. I'm not looking at anything else in the box. Nothing else in the box, you know, I have had Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, it feels really weird. It feels like it's almost like a very thin sweatshirt. So it's quite thick. Let me see. Bloody God, spaghetti now is everywhere. <laughs> I'm trying to get close to the camera and I've been attacked. So we've got um, the lost list that Luna had there. Um, and it says earrings with uh, beetle wings. Is that right? A pair of Strippy, sorry, stripy something, school cloak and something quill. You've got her glasses, you've got her necklace and her wand. Obviously that was the last post she's putting up in, in Order of the Phoenix. Um, and she's putting it all up and she says, it's all in good fun. But it's such a, such a pretty t-shirt. Although I think I would have preferred it if it was all across, like down there sort of thing. But it's, it's meant to be a pocket, isn't it? But the other t-shirt we had with Luna was from the Luna box. And that was only on the side there as well. And Luna, you want something to be really proud. So I'd rather have a print that goes all across the t-shirt. But that's quite a nice one. Feeling me boobs. That's quite a nice one. <laughs> oh my God, I've had too much sleep now. So you've got a poster next. Is that the right way around? Yes. Ah, I don't know if I like that. I was in our Guinea and Voldemort, but I don't know if I like that. That's quite creepy. I don't know who that's by. 
it's not making me kind of go wow i don't know it's not i like my dark arts theme but i don't know about that yeah i don't know about that print what do you guys think i'm not sure about that personally i can see it says that there's a there's a, uh, a name down there but i can't read it so yeah i don't think much about the poster <sighs> but you know we can't like everything so the next thing we have is a mirror of erised box okay oh that's pretty i've got one like this that came in loot crate box ages ago i don't know what i've done with it but it's really this is actually a much nicer one than the one that came in loot crate hey you can see the camera Hiya! <laughs> but that's actually very pretty isn't it look at the detail on that that's really nice and it's actually a little um it's a proper little uh frame like a little stand-up mirror now the one that came in loot crate last year was just uh, an, a mirror of Eris said mirror it wasn't actually anything specific so it didn't have a stand or anything with it but this is actually very 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 nice it's trying to focus on the camera in the background i want to feel do it now i got i got i got i got i got there we go it was focusing on the camera too much look at that that's actually very 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 pretty i like that that's nicer than the one that i had in loot crate last year well actually the one that came in loot crate last year actually arrived broken they replaced it they sent me a new one but you know and, and i had to send proof that it was broken um but yeah this one's better i'm trying to find the other one now um this one is much nicer than that one okay so we have my favorite uh, professor <laughs> we have a Dolores Umbridge looking package right there I don't know that oh my god this is so cool I'm just looking at my other plates now yeah Loot Crate have done one like this this is different though this one we have her spy cat when they go into Dolores Umbridge's office to use the uh, fire to travel by flu powder, this cat goes, notices obviously what's going on and then goes back through its cat flap to report back to Umbridge. So that's that right there. Hmm. Not sure about that. It's very nice, but it's very similar. That's true though, they don't do, people don't do enough Dolores Umbridge stuff in boxes or Rita Skeeter, I love them both. I like the box though, it's the set from Harry Potter, so it's her office, that's really nice that is. I like the box, in fact I think I like the box more than I like the plate. I just want to mention Patreon as well. If you guys haven't joined Patreon and you want to help and become part of the community, part of my community and our community, then make sure you check out the link below. It's become an incredible tool for some of my fans to be part of my YouTube life. And it's so lovely that all these people want to join. But it's so, so lovely. I have such a fantastic group of friends who have now joined. So make sure you check it out and you will see your name in the credits for one that is the most main thing you get early access to some of my videos for example this video will be sent out to my patrons uh, an hour early before it goes live so make sure that you check it out we have a oh, i do like this we have another dolores umbridge item no, it's not Dolores Umbridge. Constant Vigilance. Was that Dumbledore that said that? I remember the saying, but I can't remember who said it. Oh, it's Mad Eye Moody. You can see the eye all over the place. Constant Vigilance. That's actually a very, very nice pin. Indeed. Uh, Geek Gear don't do many pin badges, do they? That is a very, very nice pin indeed. I like that. Look how shiny that is. <gasps> 
That is so shiny. Shiny, 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 shiny. That's so lovely. I like that. And of course, you've got Mad Eye Moody's eyes whizzing around. I like the detail. I don't know if you can see it. I like the detail of the eye just there. That's so cool. That's very, very nice. I do like that. And we have, because uh, we didn't have one last month because they were running late. But we have a charm to go on their charm bracelet. And today, it is, it's a little feather, can you see me? Look at that, it's a quail. That is so pretty. I'm trying to get it to focus on the quill. There we go. Oh wow, that's actually very nice. I like that. My favourite is still the, the Love Potion bottle that they brought out a few months ago. But that is really, really pretty. My camera doesn't like me today. <laughs> it really doesn't like me. It's just like a focusing on everything else. Maybe it knows that I'm not feeling too good. Oh, oh I like it. I like it. We have a poster. I'm going to get it out of the box. Oh, now we have a Polyjuice Potion Ingredients Sheet just here. That is very nice. Do you know what I would like to do with this though? I'd like to change the colour of it myself and maybe use tea bags or something. Actually, no, and nothing, anything else would make it too dark, but I'd use tea bags and I would change the colour of this to like a cream colour so it ages it because it's very it's like a very thick paper almost it's not thick enough to be card but it is quite thick so that's probably what I would do with that that's really nice actually isn't it and a friend of mine bless she did this in a frame for me uh, for my wedding present uh, six years ago I still got it so I don't know what I've done with it but it's still somewhere but it was really lovely how she printed it out and she aged it all beautifully. But I love this, I love this. I hate spiders, but I love this design of her hat up here. It's always been such like an amazing thing to look at. But it's very, very pretty. I like that. It's nice to see something like this in a Geek Gear box. So it is really lovely to find somewhere to put this now. Okay, so that is it. Now let's have a look to see what was inside. So it says a massive thank you, May 2020. Exclusive Lunar Pocket Lost and Found T-shirt. Exclusive Umbridge Cat Plate Replica. Exclusive Mirror of Erised. Voldemort Community Artist, sorry, Voldemort, shall I say, Community Artist Artwork. The stunning artwork was brought to you by Milton Castro. Show Milton some love on Instagram at Milton... Milton Raval Castro, I think that is. Exclusive Polyjuice Potion uh, Recipe Page Replica. Exclusive Mad Eye Moody Pin. An exclusive monthly collectible charm, a feather charm. So we have no official items in this box this month. But I have to say, oh sorry, and I completely forgot, our YouTuber spots, spotlights are the KD Adventures. So congratulations you two, that's YouTuber Spotlight, and next month is a hint when Harry's on the broom trying to get the flying key in the, uh, the trials for the Philosopher's Stone. So there we have it, that's that. But I think, I've got to say, my favourite items, as much as I love Dolores Umbridge, I think my favourite items are, oh my god this is such a toughie, I've got to be honest this box hasn't screamed at me this month, um, maybe it's because of what Daniel said and he was saying mum you're going to love this, you're going to love this, I may have built it up too much since yesterday, I'm, it's not like a, it's not one of my favourite boxes from this month, from this year, however their mirror of error said is beautiful, that is a stunning, stunning replica, and I do love the box as well. But with my second item, it is a toss-up between the Constant Vigilance Mad Eye Moody Pin and the recipe for Polyjuice Potion. 
I think if the Polyjuice Potion had a different style of parchment, maybe if it had been aged, which I know, I don't know how easy it is to do when you do something like this. Um, obviously, you've got to put it into perspective. The, the, the thousands of these boxes get sent out. Um, but I think I'd prefer it if it was aged. But I also like the idea that this could be a project of mine to do myself. Uh, as in change the colour so I can put it on my wall or something. But I do, do love the pin. We never have any Mad Eye Moody stuff. So it's nice to have a Mad Eye Moody item in this box. I love the plate. But the plate itself. Because obviously again a long time ago Loot Crate did do. And obviously you guys have seen those plates on my shelves. They did do those plates a long time ago. So it's I, I've got them in front of me to compare. Obviously those ones are official plates. This one isn't. However, I do prefer their box. I much prefer the box that this came in rather than the other one. So yeah, it has been a good box, but it hasn't shouted out to me, if you know what I mean. So what did you think of this box? Have you had it? Um, if you did get it, which is your favourite item? I'd love to know. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And so you don't miss any more of my videos, hit the notification bell as well. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Press the like button, the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon.